Okay, here we go with the last question, some fun with algebraic fractions. So we're asked, first of all, to simplify this fraction here. And the key to simplifying algebraic fractions is that you have to factorize first. You can't cancel anything until it is a factor of the numerator and the denominator. So looking at the top, um, you just got to get used to spotting these. This is the difference of two squares, 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. Um, and if you need to, you might have to go in and revise the difference of two squares a little bit. Um, but now this gives us a clue. Because we're asked to simplify, I know that something is going to cancel here, which means I know that one of my brackets on the bottom is either going to be 2x plus 3 or 2x minus 3. Okay, so we use that as a clue. And if we look at what we've got in the denominator, we've got plus 3 there. Um, so that means that those two numbers have got to multiply to give three they've either both got to be negative or both positive I know they're both negative because they've got to make the minus 5x in the middle so that means that's got to be minus 3 and that for that for that one must be minus 1 and of course you can check that by expanding it out in your head um, check you get the right answer but of course we can cancel those two now and we're simply left with 2x plus 3 in the numerator and x minus 1 in the denominator and that is as simple as it gets Okay, part B, expressing as a simple uh, single fraction in its simplest form. So, um, we need a common denominator here. We can't add fractions unless they have the same denominator. So both denominators have got to include the x plus 3 and the x minus 1. So, we'll write that in for the denominator, and the second fraction is going to have to have exactly the same. Now, to make x over x plus 3 have x minus 1 on the bottom, it's going to have to have x minus 1 on the top as well, so we multiply the x by x minus 1. And conversely, the second one, 3x plus 2 on the top, that has to be multiplied by x plus 3, so that there can be an x plus 3 on the top and the bottom. Um, so now that I've got that, I've got two fractions with the same denominator, I can simply add the tops together. So it's going to be the same denominator, but it's one single fraction, and I'm going to first of all multiply out the brackets so x times x gives me x squared x times the minus 1 gives me minus x then going on to the second fraction 3x times x is 3x squared uh, 3x times the 3 gives me 9x then I've got 2, x, uh, 2 times x gives me 2x and finally 2 times 3 gives me the 6 so the next step is obviously to simplify what I've got on the top and tidy that up. Um, I have 4x squared, a 9x, 2x, and a minus x, so that gives me 10x, and then I've got the plus 6. So at this stage I haven't done anything with the denominator, I'll keep that as it is. Now, the thing is at this point, this is an annoying question, because really you need to look at the numerator and see if anything cancels. So can we factorise it? and get a common factor with the bottom. And I played around with this. I won't show you the working. You can check this yourself. It'd be good practice. But the top factorizes um, to give this 2 brackets 2x plus 3 brackets x plus 1. So there's no common uh, factor there. So there's nothing that cancels. Yeah, guru, which is kind of annoying because that would be in an exam. That would be a bit of wasted effort there. But generally, you need to look to see if anything will cancel. And the job is to factorize it. Anyway, that is my solution. Right, uh, the last part here, part C, we've got a similar thing. We've got to add two fractions together. But there's a trick here, and it's a bit like the trick that we saw in part A, which is that we've got to notice there's a difference of two squares going on here. x squared minus 1 is the same as x plus 1, x minus 1. So straight away, that means that our two denominators um, have a common factor. They have. They both have x plus 1. So actually all I need to do is change the first fraction so that it also has x minus 1 in the denominator. So I'll multiply top and bottom of that fraction by x minus 1. So doing that I get x brackets x minus 1 over x plus 1 x minus 1 and the second fraction I haven't changed that so that stays the same. And now that's going to give me one fraction with uh, x plus 1, x minus 1 as my denominator 
And for the numerator, I simply add the numerators, so, and I multiply out as I do it. So x times x is x squared, x times minus 1 is minus x, and add the 2. And again, we want to look and see if I can factorize this, and therefore cancel everything. And I can't, so this one doesn't factorize. Not a very nice example, I know, therefore. Um, but if that had fa factorized, we could have cancelled. As it is, that is our answer.